We readily admit that we spend most of our time in pursuit of species favored by most ice anglers. Pike, walleyes, crappies, bluegills, and perch. But we also heartily recommend fishing for everything that swims. If it's out there, we want to be able to understand it and catch it. The burbot, also called eel pout, lawyer by some, is one of the most intriguing fish swimming. It can be abundant and aggressive, and it's fine eating, a freshwater member of the codfish family. We traveled to Saskatchewan to fish with the man we call Mr. Pout, longtime in fisherman friend, Jeff Mattatee. No one has spent more time in pursuit of Pout and in trying to understand this unique fish. This is what we're after? Yeah, that's <laughs> actually a nice uh, breeding fish. This fish is either a male or female, full of milt or, or eggs. And I'll tell you uh, what though, eel pout, no matter what the heck you call them, you want to call them ling, you want to call them lawyers, you want to call them freshwater cod, this is one of the most disrespected fish in Absolutely. all of ice fishing right no. here. When I'm bait fishing, my favorite bait for pout is indigenous baits. Uh, these are ciscos, and these ciscos are constantly coming into the, these spawning areas and stealing eggs. And I really think that has a lot to do with why it's such a good bait. These pout are chasing these things off. I start making butterfly stakes out of this thing at near the head end. I can make about six of them out of here. And when that's hooked in the middle on those jigs or the spoons, that butterflies right in front of them and the scales come off, gives a lot of scent in the water. And those pout come in and know that this is a Cisco that does not belong on this spawning site. Oh, oh baby. There we go. Oh, yes. Open your mouth. <laughs> she doesn't want to. There. Oh, yeah. Now I'll tell you what, the tackle options are, are pretty straightforward. This one here, I happened to get in a, uh, a thumper jig that I've added a, a larger, larger spinner blade to. And of course, we got our bait here tipped on the on the back end. But a couple other one favorites of, of mine in particular are bigger spoons that have rattles built in. You want that noise to, to give off some 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 sort of attraction. You want to make as much ruckus as you possibly can down there. So larger spoons, you know, this is a Northland Buckshot spoon or a Lindy Rattler. Built-in rattlers are huge. Yeah, that's right. You know, I've just found that the bigger the better. Um, you know, we're really starting to push the envelope now on what is the right size for pout. And I don't think you even come, we're getting there, but we're, we're not entirely there yet. How deep is that hole, Jeff? Uh, I got about, uh, seven feet here, just bouncing this jig, bouncing it on the little oh, shower. There's a fish right there, Chip. Really? Yeah. Cool. Fairly heavy. This rod, this Berkeley rod's pretty stiff. Come here, baby. It's coming out tail first. I love when they do that. <laughs> there we go. This is a typical uh, spawning, spawning bay, spawning shoal fish. That's why they're so great to target this time of year, isn't it? You know, I fish these from the beginning of the season right through, but when they're on these spawning shoals, they're really gathered up and they're aggressive. Um, they're not necessarily after food, like when they're full of crayfish early in the season, because if you take a look at the belly on this one, we just caught three of those spawning fish in a row that had really, really big bellies on them. This one doesn't have a big belly. This is a non-spawning fish. It's a mature fish, but it didn't spawn this year. It's just here protecting territory. What depths do you find them spawning at most, Jeff? When you're looking for good pout spots, you're looking for big main lake shoals, points. Um, you want to have the right bottom content of rocky gravel. And you're going to be looking for only maybe three or four feet of water under the ice. There you go. There he is. Well, it feels like a good one too. <laughs> Sorry to do that there to you. Go. Oh, maybe oh, I did oh, catch oh. a fish. Oh, What's oh. yours like? He's not bad. It's right in the middle. Oh, here he is. Come on. Come oh, on, man. Here it comes. You got yours? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, it's bigger. Look at that toad. Nice. Let's fish. see. Let's see. Oh, Holy oh. mackerel. Yours, yours <laughs> might be bigger even yet. Look at the size of that belly. You know, we saw those fish, Chip. They'll, they will do that. These big spawning fish are in group. 
and they'll come in and it's not uncommon to get a couple in a row like that, but two big ones like that, those are big bourbon anywhere in North America.